Hey guys, this is CL Mosk, and this is a uh, uh, video for uh, Nutaku's um, video contest. And this is also a uh, remake of one of my videos that I did a little while ago that I obviously uploaded to YouTube wrong. So, sorry about that. But, this is briefly um, talking about uh, Sorska's feet turn and the awesome things you can do on it. Now, Sorska in my opinion, is one of the better of the uh, Warcasters in the game. Or at least with the starter Warcasters. She rocks. That's all I can say. Um, so what her feet turn does is it is called like Icy something. I'm trying to find her card right now. But basically what it does is it freezes everything that is in her uh, command range. So, what does that do for um, us? Well, what that basically does is it allows you to, unless you really suck at rolls and roll double ones, you're going to hit automatically. So, um, here's the basic setup of it. You're going to start out your turn with your focus, which I'm gathering up right now. Sorry. Okay, so we got six focus on her, and I'm going to move the camera slightly so we can see her. Um, we got six focus on Sorska. So, um, I would not upkeep any anything this turn, so if you have any upkeep spells, don't upkeep them. So, what we're going to do, first of all, is we are going to... You want to be in a setup kind of like this. This is a lot of time how the setup will be, especially in these smaller matches. Yeah, I know this is the wrong base size. Um, can't find her base. So, um, anyways, common setup, you're, it's almost to a charge, or, for all we know, you could, they could already be charged in. Whatever, okay? So, Sorska's basically hiding behind her warjacks, because she's kind of squishy, and if she gets shot at, she's probably gonna die. Um, as you can see with my, uh, battle report that I'll be posting up here in just a few, my brother almost, um, stopped me from using my feet turn. So, what you're going to do is you're going to use two focus to do wind rush. So, move full distance six inches, okay? So, now you got that. So, we're going to move this up and over to this angle right here. Sorry about the mess on my desk. I'm reorganizing everything. So, um, these guys are kind of meaningless at this point. Um, what's also a better thing to do to do maximum damage is don't have these guys charged in charge them in at the feet turn but that's beyond the point this is purely let me drop the camera uh, this is purely character assassination so now we charge source skin and she has a lot of range sorry about the hand of the way she has a lot of range because she's... there goes the camera i'm sorry guys um I'll edit that out maybe um, so she has a lot of range because of her reach, uh, two inch reach, um, nine inch charge. So she's effectively with wind rush. She has a lot of distance that she can cover and still get the charge in. So as you can see, there's still four focus on her. What does that mean? So I'll give you guys a second to think about that. Hmm. Boosting attacks like mad. So basically... I'm going to just, I'm not going to, or I'm popping the feet at this point, okay? Feet's pop. This guy's frozen. This guy's frozen. She's frozen, okay? Makes it so that they now have base defense of five, I believe. Um, basically, they're just going to die if you uh, hit them. So, let's get out some dice right here. Okay, got my dice just to show you the effectiveness of this. So I'm gonna roll uh, off the table. So got a two and a six, so that hits. So now to roll for damage. And I'm going to boost it, so there goes one focus. And we're gonna roll over here. So I got a three, a two, and a five. So it's 10 damage to her base defense of five or whatever. Um, or armor of, I don't know what her armor is, but basically, that's taken her, 
her health down pretty far. So then now we're gonna do we're gonna use a focus to use another attack. Roll your two dice. It hits. Boost again, and just go at it. So more damage. Um, use the last one to do another attack. Hits and can't boost this one. So five and a six. That's amazing rolling by me, by the way. Um, and most likely you got a character kill. So um, that's how you do it. You can also do this in tandem with other uh, units. I haven't been able to do it yet just because I haven't played that many games in the last little bit. But there's uh, the Sorska's Feet character assassination tactic. So um, guys, go out and use it. This tactic works fairly well. The main thing you have to be careful about is she is a glass cannon. She can dish out a ton of damage, but she cannot take it. She, uh, as I said, she almost died against Krios. Um, and uh, my brother shot some uh, rockets from his uh, Redeemer or his Revenger or something like that last game. So anyways, there's the tactic. And um, once again, this is on Nitaku's site. Nitaku, you have some, uh, or this is for your contest, you have some great videos. Keep it up, man. Um, excited to see more of your uh, your Blood Angels coming up here. So thanks for this opportunity and uh, there you go.